What is up, y'all? I'm Jordy, and today I'm bringing you my Zamazenta team. Zamazenta got nerfed coming into Scarlet and Violet. It got base points taken off of its defenses, and its Dauntless Shield ability, which raises its defense one time whenever it hits the field, now only raises its defense one stage the first time it hits the field. And it got all of these nerfs because its sister Zacian was just too powerful. However, Zamazenta was actually buffed massively overall, despite all those tries to nerf it. Because it finally has body press. I have no idea why they thought it was okay for Zamazenta to not have body press from the start. Zacian was one of the most powerful legendaries they've ever given us. And Zamazenta could have been just as good if it just had body press the whole time. But anyway, body press uses your defense. Zamazenta's a fighting type, so it gets stab on body press. You set up an iron defense, your defense becomes sky high. It's already so high. If you come in for the first time in an iron defense, you're at plus three. You already have a huge base defense. You're holding the rusted shield, so you're fighting steel, which is really good typing. Really good typing that also resists wicked blow which can crit through your defenses, and so I'm Terra Water, which resists Surging Strikes, which can crit through your defenses. Uh, I also have Heavy Slam. Its signature move is Behemoth Bash, and if you know Iron Head in the base form, when you hit the field with the Rusted Shield, you take on the other form, Iron Head becomes Behemoth Bash. Behemoth Bash is 100-100, and the side effect no longer applies because Dynamax is gone. So I'm using Heavy Slam for a couple specific targets. Versus Calyrex Shadow, Zamazenta has a 120 power heavy slam, and versus Fluttermane, it has a 120 power heavy slam. This will help if Zamazenta gets intimidated against Fluttermane, because some bulky Fluttermanes can live Behemoth Bash through Intimidate pretty well, but Heavy Slam is much more likely to KO them unless they're extremely bulky than they can still live. Heavy Slam also does better into Calyrex Shadow, because it's much more likely to get a two shot. Behemoth Bash, even on no bulk, they can live that pretty easily. And those are the main two things I want to hit with my steel move, because I can body press anything that's not a ghost. Terra Ghost still becomes a problem, so Behemoth Bash is perfectly viable there. So, it's fine. The rest of this team is my Global Challenge 3 team. I just put Zamazenta in the Gudra slot. So if you want a breakdown of what that team was supposed to do, I'm going to leave a link in the description to my video about that, which has a very in-depth breakdown about how that team works. It works a little bit differently with Zamazenta, but Zamazenta is terrifying. So anyway, let's get on to some battles. Alright, we've got a Calyrex Shadow. Cool matchup. They also have Indeedee. They have Palmot. Landorus, Metagross, and Fire Ogre Pond. Palmot is an interesting one. But alright. Uh, what do they really have for Moltres? I just don't Terra it, and I'm looking like I'm in a pretty good position. Set up screens. Go with Moltres. And then go with Moltres. Obviously I want Zamazenta, I just don't want to lead it. And then uh, Incineroar, uh, it's weak to ground, it does well into Calyrex. I've already got two, gra two dark types though. Probably Sinistra for the healing, it can heal the Zamazenta and it can heal Moltres. Or do I want to go Milotic? Uh, both of them are weak to the Fire Ogre Pond. And both of them have Terras that make them weak to Fire Ogre Pond still. But I guess my Lotic is better into the Landorus. Because I don't have a lot for the Landorus other than don't Terra the Moltres. Yeah, hopefully these four will be alright. I think all six of my Mons are good here. But let's see what they've got. I'm hoping for a Calyrex Shadow lead. Because I can just set light screen and then be a Moltres. Ooh, shiny Metagross. One of the best shinies. 
And I got the shiny chandelure. Yeah, those are like two of the best shinies in the game right there on the screen. Metagross and Pomont. Okay, they're gonna fake out and they're gonna delete my screen setter. At least that's the way I see it. So I'm gonna go for a nasty plot. No, I'm not. I'm going to... I'm also worried about them just going for like a double shock right into Moltres. I'll just click Fiery Wrath and bring in Zamazenta. Very cool. Very cool shiny Zamazenta. Uh, they're going right for a Terra. That's interesting. Metagross into Terra Water. Okay. That makes me think that you're going to leave Moltres alone. So maybe you were going for the fake out Heavy Slam play. Yes, you were. That's great. Fiery Wrath. A flinch would be nice, but I don't think I need it. Oh, thank you! Uh, now I'm gonna go back into Grim. Uh, Moltres could get Heavy Slammed. Yeah, they could read that and Heavy Slam the Moltres, I guess. That's, that's not the worst thing in the world, anyway, if they do do it. And I'm gonna get up my Iron Defense. I wanna start doing big damage with this Zamazenta who looks so cool. Alright, Grimmy, welcome to the field. It's just Thunder Punch, okay. I get my Iron Defense. Uh, did you double into the Moltres slot? Because I could lose my screener that way. Oh, you put with knockoff, that's fine. Five turns of screen will do. I don't care. Um, would I rather set Reflect Light Screen? What? I think it's actually better for me to set light screen. I mean, I've already got huge defense boosts on Zamazenta. Set light screen for later. And then just body press. If I body press Palmot, they can't revive stuff. So I'm gonna go that way. Oh! Is that the is that the Shadow Rex? Oh, it's Landorus. Oh, I'm cool with that. Hopefully, plus three body press can two shot. And yeah, I'm probably gonna lose Grim. Oh yeah, it's a two shot. Love it. Oh, just Meteor Mash, but yeah, that's still enough from there. No attack boost? No attack boost. Awesome. Got up my light screen, but not my reflect. I think I'm gonna bring in Moltres now. And I think I'm gonna nasty plot in their face. Yeah, I'm gonna nasty plot right in their face as I body press the Landorus. Landorus could protect, Landorus could swap, but I wanna delete it. And I will eventually. All right, so you're gonna get a free hit with Metacross. But Meteor Mash, I'm sure Moltres can take. Like, I'm not really worried about that. But I also need to start accelerating this game because I have limited screen turns. I have none screen turns. Got it. Okay. Well then, Fiery Wrath and Body Press and good luck. <laughs> now you're in trouble because you can't bring in Calyrex for this Body Press. Something's going down to this Body Press. I mean, go ahead, bring in Calyrex. I'd be thrilled if you try to make that a view. Goodbye. Oh, body press is just what Zamazenta needed. I love this. Uh, let's see. I'm only plus two. You could be AV. Yeah, you probably are. And then a knockoff of the Citrus Berry. That's smart. That's a fine good play. You've already terastalized, meaning Calyrex is not safe. So I need to protect Moltres. 
Calyrex could pull like a Terra Fairy Terra Blast or something, but wouldn't be safe. Oh, I wasn't going to be able to eat my berry in front of you anyway, so the knockoff wasn't that big a deal. And I don't have light screen anymore because of the psychic bangs. I just go for Fiery Wrath. Is there a point in going after the Metagross? I don't think so. And I'll Heavy Slam Calyrex. Could be Sashed. Uh, just Bullet Punch. Oh, going for a double up maybe? You got Draining Kiss or something? You do. It's not enough. Awesome. Yeah, I didn't think it would be, but... Ooh, Heavy Slam does over half. That's one of the mons I have Heavy Slam for. Usually, you would run Behemoth Bash on Zamazenta. Ooh, crit on Metagross. But I have Heavy Slam because it has a better roll against Calyrex Shadow and Fluttermane, the two main targets. Against a bunch of other stuff, like Terra Ghost Groudon, for example, you're kind of screwed because Heavy Slam is going to do 40 base damage. But you saw how much it did to that Calyrex. It's a little bit stronger than Behemoth Bash there. And then uh, you can only fake out one of us. The other one's going to hit you. Good game, Palmot. Battle was cancelled. GG's. And good trainer card. Alright, here we've got a Calyrex Shadow. They also have Chiyu Fluttermane, a scary combo. Dragonite with... Oh, no Chen Pao. Oh, I thought it would be like a 2-2-2 two, two, two thing going on. Uh, but Water Pond and Iron Hands. They got two crazy special attackers. Three crazy special attackers. So much crazy special attack. Oh my goodness. I think Moltres behind screens could do it. But I would have to poison Terra in front of Fluttermane, which is the worst. This is very specially defensive Incineroar. But no, no dark move for the Calyrex, but... Okay, uh, I do need to get screens. Uh, Fluttermane, Iron Hands lead would be really hard to get screens from, though. I don't hate Zamazenta on lead. But then I really need Grimmsnarl. I need one of the dark types, one or the other. I would see Clear Amulet on hands being a possibility. I think I want Sinistra and Incineroar. Alright, I barely locked that in. This is a hard matchup. If they stack their physical attackers, Zamazenta's fine. If they... Ooh, the Lottie Twins! Nice! If they bring out special attackers, and I can delete them right away, we'd be good. All right, it is Iron Hands Fluttermane, exactly what I thought it would be. What's your booster energy? Speed? Hmm. Well, if you want to go for that play, you have to commit. I am going to heavy slam your Fluttermane. Yeah. If you want to make the fake out block screens from going up play, you need to unprotect your Fluttermane. That's just the way it is. And do I get the Intimidate? I do get the Intimidate, so Zamazenta's not even scared of that. Ooh, they were gonna let me get screens. But taking Fluttermane is great. I'm happy with this. Even if you do do some damage here. Uh, that wasn't really damage. I'm, I'm fine. I'm very fine with that. Gonna we get a fake out turn here. There's Chiyu.
Let's protect Zamazenta and parting shot out on the Chiyu. I should be faster than Iron Hands. I'm a fairly fast Incineroar, right? 67? Sorry, 87? Yeah. Good. So I just protect. Parting shot out. I'll move after Chiyu so I can even go into Sinistra if I want. But I'll probably go into my screens user. That should be fine. No Terra from the Chiyu. Protect from the Chiyu? Yeah, okay. I get it. And Incineroar is still around. Love it. Now, of course, I have to tear a water body press the Chiyu, which is like kind of rough. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, is there much use for saving an 11 HP Incineroar? No, because it'll just be Calyrex food. I don't want to just give them a free boost. So I'm gonna tear a water. I need to. I'm gonna body press the Chiyu. And I'm gonna Flare Blitz the Chiyu. Who knows what's gonna happen there. Yep, there's Calyrex. With your two abilities. Acting as one. Now I'm Terrastalizing. I am faster than Chiyu. I know this. Are they Terrastalizing? Are they Sash? They have Protect. I feel like on a team of that build, you would be Sash Chiyu. That's why you don't feel like Terry. Oh, you're just gone. Oh, goodbye. Okay. And I'm gonna knock myself out so you cannot take... A uh, parting shot would've been good there, unless they're running the clear amulet. I have seen clear amulet on that thing. Great damage. Knock myself out. Uh, they've got Iron Hands. So they can fake out... Which is annoying, but... What can you do? So I'm just gonna protect. Uh, were they saving Terra for this? Maybe they fake out an Oko Grim. That's not the worst thing in the world. I'll protect Zamazenta, and I will try to put up a light screen. I think my defense is high enough, and I can always raise it before. Oh, a protect! I did not expect that. That's really cool. I'm so cool with that. What are you going for, like a wild charge or something? Heavy slam. Big damage into Grim. Ouch. Alright, well now I heavy slam your Calyrex. You're in range. And I will parting shot out from the Iron Hands? Bring, mm, I don't know. No, I don't want to lose Sinistra. I want Sinistra versus Iron Hands is a great endgame. Yep, Astral Barrage. I think Zamazenta's not in range here. That did basically nothing. If Wild Charge can take it out, you have to fight a Sinistra. And Iron Hands doesn't really like fighters. Boom. Heavy Slam. Goodbye. I don't think that was bulky, but if it was bulky, that Heavy Slam was better than Behemoth Bash there. Yeah, we take that. Love it. Going into Sinistra, and I'm just gonna play this endgame safe. I'm gonna just play the safe end game. I'm gonna protect, and I'm gonna life do. They'll probably just forfeit at this point, I would think. 
means I can protect life do. And then I can rage powder, iron defense, and then I can hit them with a big body press. Yes, and this HP is full, but it's for Zamazenta. Bonk. It's iron hand is bulky, so I need to iron defense up. And I will just rage powder that wild charge over here. Yeah, now you cancel. That's good. Good game. Good game. Cool Lotties. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Dusk Main Necrozma. Sweet. Uh, they have Chiyu, Flutter, Primarina, Raging Bolt, and a Moongus. That thing is their only physical attacker? Oh. Oh. This could be a Moltres centric game. And I need Incineroar. Incineroar and Moltres. Uh, Incineroar can stop the Amoongus. Moltres can do well into the special attackers. Grimmsnarl will need to be here to set screens. They don't have a solid way of stopping screens. So that'll be a good way to stop screens. To set up screens. Oh, do I not bring Zamazenta at all? I don't think that's right. Zamazenta can do okay still, but I need screens. Screens Moltres, Incineroar in the back with Zamazenta. That doesn't seem too bad. Not having any healing at all does feel kind of bad. We'll have to end this game quickly. Because I'm not bringing Hospitality, and I'm not bringing Life Do. So we're going to have to end this game as quick as we possibly can. And they've got a little... Is that a Thwacky? Nobody takes pictures with the middles. I guess that's creative. She you, Fluttermane. Expected. Kind of annoying that I have to give up my Dark Typing, but I have something in the back that can take your Psychic Type on. And I'm glad it's not an Amoongus lead. So, light screen. Terra. Nasty plot. Now I wish I had Sinistra. Hmm. Maybe I could have just screened and protected here. I don't think it makes much of a difference. Next turn I can protect and let Grim go down if I want. Uh, Scarf Heat Wave. And Moon Blast into Grim, fine. Perfectly fine. A-OK. -okay. And now Incineroar. I know you're locked into Heat Wave, which is excellent news. It didn't do much to Moltres at all. So I want to throw a Fiery Wrath. Definitely gonna throw a Fiery Wrath. And then probably back it up with a Flare Blitz. I kind of want to get rid of the Chiyu slot, mostly. Maybe I could Parting Shot that slot? No. I'm going to Flare Blitz that slot, and I'm going to Fiery Wrath. Yeah, I figured it would probably swap out. But who too? Tell me that's your Legendary. It is your Legendary! Ooh, I don't think you're going to like this double up. Excellent damage, as usual. Is Flutterman clicking Trick Room? It flinched! Oh, they were trying to click Trick Room, but it, they failed. I wish they had succeeded! Oh my goodness. And then Raging Bolt.
Well, no Amoongus, that's great. No physical attackers left. That's awkward. Um, I might as well throw a Fiery Wrath while throwing Fiery Wrath is good. Because I will Parting Shot out on the Raging Bolt. Soften it up a little bit. Yep, they Moonblast my Ensign. Not too bad behind Light Screen. Uh, they Snarl and they outspeed, so I don't know why you were going for Trick Room. My Moltres is now only plus one. So Fluttermane will probably live, which honestly I like. No, it went down because of a crit! <laughs> you weren't supposed to crit that, Moltres. Alrighty. Weakening up the bolt is great. I may have to give up my defense boost on Zamazenta, though. Uh, presumably they would Terra now, right? Behind light screen, I'm certain to take a heat wave. I can see what you lock into. I could also protect... no. I'm fine with protecting both here. Uh, they don't tear at anything, that's annoying. But I would like to see what you click. It's just Heat Wave. And your bolt is minus one, so I'm not too scared of whatever it's doing, which is just Snarl. Okay. I think we take a Heat Wave, take out Chiyu with Body Press, and then just win. And then, if they go Terra Ghost, which I'm sure they have, they're gonna have Fiery Wrath problems. Yep, Heat Wave does even less than I expected. Oh my goodness. Zamazenta, you're a beast! You just take 70 damage? From a Chiyu Heat Wave? Goodbye. <laughs> and now Moltres uh, got another boost, so it'll go down to plus one if they snarl. They do not snarl on plus two, single target. And we take that too, whatever. No big deal, just a critical hit Draco Meteor. No big deal. Good damage into the bolt. Oh wow, yeah, just plus one defense, plus two special attack. You can't knock us both out. Body press, fiery wrath, good game. Thank you for just feeding me the Necrozma on a silver, silver platter. <laughs> you got a good trainer card, I guess. All right, bot, what you got? Uh, Calyrex Shadow. They've got an Urshifu of some kind, Rillaboom, Fire Pond, Tornadus, and Ferrigorath. Okay. What's they got in Tumultus? They got the Urshifu. What do I got into Urshifu? Well, maybe Sinistra. I don't know if they're the dark or the water one. I would think the water one, so Sinistra would be good. But they have Calyrex, so Sinistra is bad. Calyrex Urshifu lead just... Uh, could cause some problems. Uh, I could go straight into Zamazenta Grimmsnarl. I do think they could lead Fake Out into something, because... Even Fake Out plus Urshifu would make sense. Uh, I still like the Zamazenta lead. They have a lot of physical. And then they have the one Calyrex. So I think I'll bring Moltres in the back. And maybe Sinistra. Uh, Incineroar is okay. They've got a couple things that can be intimidated. And having a dark type is nice. But I already have a dark type. And I can set screens. And then I want Sinistra. Because I do think 
it's the water Urshifu. And if it is, I can just shut that straight down. Ooh, Shiny Dragonite in a Master Ball? Um, that's a little weird. Calyrex Rillaboom. I don't hate this. Uh, I really want to get Light Screen. I guess they could deny it with like Fake Out and Terra Blast. How do I feel about going right into Moltres? Well, not if they Terra Blast, I don't like that. How about a Heavy Slam? And a light screen. I don't hate that. Yeah, because they do try to stop the screen. Grimmsnarl flinches. Just a draining kiss into Grim. We eat that pretty well. I don't care about that. And how much does Heavy Slam do? Just over half. And you're still under half. I like it. A uh, draining kiss will get you out of range. If that's what you decide to go for. So maybe I Iron Defense and go for Parting Shot? Yeah, I want to do that. Uh, Calyrex just protects, fine. Grassy Glide, does not get the KO. <laughs> and we're boosting. Okay, now I think you would go for Astral Barrage, not Draining Kiss. I'm gonna go for a Heavy Slam, and I'm gonna swap in Yeah, because you could Grassy Glide, Astral Barrage. Or you could just Astral Barrage and do something else with Rillaboom. I want to Heavy Slam the Calyrex, and I want to go into Moltres. I think now they might just be out of Heavy Slam range. But once again, Heavy Slam coming in clutch, because that's the main target, and it's 20 points stronger against Calyrex than Behemoth Bash would be. Though I feel like I'm about to just miss out on the KO again anyway. No, I got it! Behemoth Bash would not have done that. Let's go. Goodbye, Calyrex. And High Horsepower does decent damage into Zamazenta. But I still have a Reflect user, I still have Sinistra. They've got Ogre Pond. I'm at plus three defense. I should probably terastalize into water. And then I'll body press the ogre pond. The ogre pond's a little scarier. And then just hard bring in Sinistra. Because if I can get rid of Ogre Pond, then I don't have to worry about Ivy Cudgels onto my Sinistra. Rillaboom is scary into Zamazenta now that I'm turning into a water type. Oh, but they're not even going to be on the field soon. Cool. And which Urshifu is that? Water? Water. That's good. Going Terra. Oh, they're going for Terra? I love that. Thank you. I love that you burn Terra here. Um, if you take out my Sinistra, that's a little annoying. But manageable, since now that I'm Terra Water, I'm not worried about surging strikes. 
It'll go through my defense boost, but it still won't do that much. It's resisted. I have a good defense even without the boosts. Uh, show me that at Zamazenta. Thank you. That does absolutely nothing. And you should be gone. Goodbye. Now they have Rillaboom. What they can do, they can fake out my Zamazenta. But I don't care, because I can redirect Urshifu. And then my backline's pretty good into the Rillaboom anyway. I think I will body press the Urshifu. I'll body press Rillaboom. And just throw a Machigata, actually. Yeah, they, tar they targeted Sinistra anyway. Didn't need to Rage Powder. Body press. I don't think that KOs. Ooh, barely doesn't. Woodhammer's gonna KO yourself, and not me. Goodbye, Rillaboom. Thank you for playing. And then Machigacha on single target with the terrain should pick up this KO. For the win, your U-turn, you're not Sash. Good game. Oh, and you got the Rocky Helmet Chip anyway if you were Sash. Oh, and you went before Zamazenta, so you're definitely Scarf. Good to know. Well, don't need to know it anymore. Goodbye, bot. Zamazenta, let's go. I love it. And we are back. 4-0, Zamazenta undefeated. And we fought mostly Calyrex Shadow Rider, which is honestly great. I love that the casual ladder has gotten really competitive, and Shadow Rider is going to be the most competitive thing. Also got to see a Necrozma Duskmane for the first time. It's a shame that it, uh, did what it did. Anyways, I hope you liked. Like this video if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'm Jordy, and, uh, alright, peace.